Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to show you how to enable a button based on a field criteria. So for today's uh, exercise, I'm going to add a button to trigger an email function, um, but the button will only be visible if there is an actual email address on this database, for example. So the process is rather simple. Just need to go to edit the application on the view. And if you want to show the button on the actual row, you need to go to configure fields for the web. Otherwise, you can uh, add, the, add the button here on the actions, either for, you know, right click on a record, multiple records, uh, or a single record. But in, in our case, since we actually want to show the button, we're going to go to this section and then at the end, add new button here. And let's call it email or send email. Send email. So the, the key here is the condition. Normally, what people would do is say, okay, I want to do email is not null, and then um, that's the only criteria that they add. And this, this criteria used to work before, but since the C5 introduction, not only do you need to check for the null value, but you also need to check not equal empty for string. So you need to consider both um, numeric, I guess, and the string value. So if you do this, only then you will be able to disable the button from a field that doesn't have a value. And if it does have a value, then the system will recognize it and trigger the function. So that's, that's the key here, that you need to consider both is not null and not equal to empty for a string value. And that's the key for uh, showing, you can create the, let's say, send email or email push, create the workflow, and we can, you know, do any uh, function here. Let's uh, create our own. And what we want to do here is just uh, send a mail, right? And then in the email, we are sending it from uh, the admin user to whatever record is in the form, email. And then the subject, yeah, you can, you can pretty much type anything you wish. Uh, Test email push. The same for the message. Now this is just a test. Okay, so that's our function right there. <clears throat> yeah, update it. All right. So we close this. We create that function there. Then if we go to the form, check this out. You see how the button send, send email, it's disabled when there is no email here. And only these other buttons show up because there are records in there. So this is how you can uh, enable a button based on a field criteria uh, in the case that you want to either not show and either show or not show, you need to consider um, both the null value for numeric values as well as the uh, the empty value for the string. So in this case, we edit the button and remember, need to consider both, not one or the other, but both. I hope this helps.